when I left the house to come back to the observatory, it looked like it was a little foggy, but I, I think it was just the glare from the full moon. I'm capturing an image every 30 seconds automatically hoping to stitch it together to make a, a time lapse later. And I'm broadcasting right now at uh, 1280 by 720. Yeah, I made my cup of coffee before I came out. focus a little bit. the cooler on, although it's, it's pretty warm out here today. Heater is okay. Low conversion gain. Oh, okay. Digital Vending 1. I 
the host that I'm broadcasting. Just posting to a few groups that I'm broadcasting. Yes, this is a DS26 E-Tech. Sorry, I was uh, heading to the browser open and bro announcing that I was broadcasting. Right now, gain is at zero, a uh, one minimum, and about a five millisecond exposure. some of that information up on the screen.
Okay. According to Sky Tools, the uh, moon is about 20% into the umbra. Let me turn off the blue lights in the observatory. Ugh. You can definitely go outside and look at it and see that it's uh, progressing. I just changed the exposure to six milliseconds. I guess it's too early for some people to get up to watch this. friend of mine invited me to go to a place on Lake Drive out on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain where we could get an unobstructed view of the moon and the lake as the moon sets over the lake. I told him I'd rather just miss the end part of the eclipse and watch the thing from here. I won't be able to go all the way to mid-totality, I don't think, because I, the tree line is high enough. By that time, the moon will only be about 16 degrees up. Morning, Mike. Right now the moon is 34, they're almost 35 degrees up. And almost due west, azimuth 269. And as far as bring the sky tools chart over you can see the red line right here is the umbral por portion so the moon is about 25 percent into the umbra have to morning Dadeki let me increase the ex gain a little bit let's go I don't know if 8 milliseconds is going to be too much no that's 8 milliseconds
when it gets to uh, maybe three quarter coverage I'll start playing with the color balance more I have to see what I have it at right now Let's see. 8 bit white balance I did a white balance at about 8 p.m. last night I'm gonna leave it where it is right now and the color adjustments are all at default good morning Orion KS was initially going to go with the 2.3 plus but the sensor is a little bit bigger in this and it gives me a better field of view Tools are starting to show in their charts a little glowing on the left limb. So let me increase the exposure. I want to do it and not overexpose the moon. I'm at 11 milliseconds now. Morning, Leonard. Leonard, Jamie tried to talked me into going out to Lake Avenue in Mandeville. I said I'd rather just sit here and observe it from home. Tell her I was coming out here. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I got a few people in here watching the broadcast. Uh, six, five, one, two, three, five.
from here. About five, yeah. yeah. Look at that. See, because yeah. here's the, the Sky Tools chart and the, the, the red. What's it called? What kind of chart? Sky Tools. That's a, Sky Tools. That's a program I use. And see the red line, this big red line out here is the light shadow. So the moon is totally in that. The little shadow here is the dark shadow. And you can see the moon is gradually moving into it. Mm -hmm. And you can see, according to the simulation, it shows it's starting to get a little darker on this limb over here, but I have the exposure turned down so I don't blow this limb out. <laughs> no, that's good. You got it right. That's amazing. You know, so I have Slidell Leonard. It's a friend of mine that lives off of uh, Robert Road near the country cl uh, golf course. And yeah. He lives over there. He's got a set up like this? He has a mallet cam. He doesn't have one of these. But that's a real, I'm only at 11 milliseconds. That's 11 thousandths of a second exposure. Damn, that's crazy. Oh. So it's raining in the Bay Area. Okay. The Bay Area, California Bay Area? It must be, Sa oh. yeah, San Francisco, Ryan KS. And uh, when I came out of the house and looked, I said, God, is that fog? It looked, but it was the glow from the moon. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> it did say something about it might could have been fog, could be foggy a little bit or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, like I got told a friend of mine uh, lives in Lacombe, wanted to know if I wanted to go meet him at the end of Lake Road in uh, Mandeville, out by Bayou Lacombe. Yeah, I thought you did that one time or something. I did it for a couple of times looking for comets out there. Okay. But I said, told Jamie, I said, because there you'll be able to see the setting moon hit the lake and it's still under eclipse. But I said, nah, it's okay. No, you do it here. I like it right here. He says, yeah, the bugs have been pretty bad yeah. out there lately. I said, the last time I went out there, I brought my Honda generator a fan. I had the fan <laughs> blowing on me just yep. to keep the mosquitoes off. You ain't kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, my neighbor's over here with me watching this. It looks like, since I've been here this little bit of time, it's, it's shaking oh, it's, it's, out more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you can see the... Scroll out on the chart. See, that, there's the, the, that red line here. Mm -hmm. That's the, the dark shadow, and eventually that moon's going to move into that dark totally. Yeah, black, black it out. I mean, yeah, the red shadow. I remember seeing it. Yeah. yeah. See, if I... If I advance this I had this set to go oh, I don't want to mess with the chart I could, I could advance it and show you what, what it's supposed to look like I no, you let me try change the exposure right I'm going to go at a little bit longer exposure to see go to 13 milliseconds is 13 so I added a little bit of time I'm recording the screen and I'm capturing an image every 30 seconds Every 30 seconds. So I'll be able to get them out of the stool. No, you're good. This is, like, oh, yeah, look at this. This is pretty cool. You're good. Oh, I didn't know you had another room in there. That's, that's the closet where I keep all my cameras. And, huh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cam, and I got the air conditioner in here. To, you know. That's smart, man. You got it going on. Oh, you're good. Let's 
I got my flip flops on this morning too. Yeah, right. I've got it. I said I'm not gonna. Uh -oh. So yeah. what was the exposure time? 13 milliseconds. And, and, I'm, yeah, and I'm recording the screen. So I'm, make, I'm, I'm making a video of just the recording. That's cool. I'll post that to YouTube later. It's definitely progressed since I've, when I when I got here initially. Let's get that on. No. I got to tell a little bit how I've been here. It's already blacked out. I just took a yeah. picture. Y'all, uh, good sight. Y'all ready for the uh, election? That's ready as we ever gonna be. <laughs> I didn't go out banging doors and all. This bunch of stuff did last time. So I was, you know. These people haven't seen it, they never going to see people, it. Yeah, the people haven't seen it over the last four years, yeah. what you've done for them, oh well. Yeah, that's right. I'll find something else to do. <laughs> yeah. you, still, you still have your captain's license? Yeah. So you could always go back there? Yeah, I could. I just, yeah. I might die on that. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I love it anyway. I wish I'd never left it. Yeah. Well, it's probably less stressful than... Well, I don't know. It's a lot of stress because I had a lot on my plate. I had to deal with all the customers and book them and yeah. boat them and it was a lot. But, uh, yeah, you were doing more than just oh, it was amazing. running yeah. the, the oh, tours. Oh, my God. I was doing it all. Yeah. And where are you out there the end they get your head in that pillow? You were out. There wasn't no kick ball. Yeah. But I had it down. I streamlined it, and I enjoyed it, but what the hell I was thinking with the, uh, the shit with this police chief shit. Ugh. But it's alright. <laughs> I got it down, though. I think I got a good team in there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Good support team that are devoted and care, you know? Yeah. My assistant and my captain, they're very devoted. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that thing's about half, just almost half. Just about yeah, half. yeah, the, the shadows, the, the, the dark shadows got more than half to, almost half to moon covers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I woke up. So, yeah, I got a PS. Let me just walk over there for a minute. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. I think the sky to a candidate. She could be here from 3 to 5. Or something. I mean, yeah, because it's about 5, 5.15. The yeah. moon's going to be setting behind the pine trees yeah. over there. Yeah. So that, that'll be... Time to shut down. Yeah. But, uh. You had a good setup, there ain't no doubt. Well, cool I came story. out about, uh. 7.30. We had watched, uh, an episode of, uh, Andor, the uh, new Walt Disney Star Wars thing with Jake. Yeah. I said, let me go check and see if I got the camera set up on the telescope so it'll be ready for three in the morning. Oh, yeah. So I came out here, got everything all set up, that was good. looked at the moon, got it focused. I said, okay, shut it all down, came in. That was smart thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, pretty cool. Awesome setup. Look at this. Yeah, we early voted last, what was the last day of early voting? Last Tuesday? I think so. Yeah, this, you know, Paul, Sky, and I went over and voted in Slidell. He you know. thinks that that girl kind of messed up because she yeah. did not respond to the paper, but I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't so sure it was her. And I have not a chance to ask her. I think it was, I think it would be surprised. Somebody didn't tell her? I think, I mean, these well, people are A lot of things, oh yeah. They really are. Yeah, a lot and of the, cherry, you know? A lot of the meet and greets that you didn't mm -hmm. learn, know about, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It just, it's a vicious world out there. Oh, you know? uh, yeah. So I ain't so sure they didn't even tell her. You know, it's a possibility. Yeah, they're trying to act like they called. I'm gonna find out. Pretty sure she'll tell me. You know, but a lot of these people don't even get the paper anymore. You go to these newsstands and paper boxes, they're full. After a week, you know, it's crazy. I'm being serious, so I'm like, wow. You just increased the exposure. So I don't think that I heard her too much. We'll see. You talking about that the little the free magazines they put out? No, the uh, newspaper. The oh, regular news. Yeah, I don't. The Independent. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't even get it. There's a, a, a box right in front of the post office. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, empty it because... Right, they go to yeah, the post office. They go to the post office. Right. They ain't got nowhere else to get one. Yeah. 
Unless I make it to the news. I don't know career. what day of the week they put the make newspapers out, but I usually pick when I go to the post office. I'll pick one up. Sure. So we're about at least half covered now. Mm -hmm. Brock is in the process of moving his shop from Ottawa to his. I think the movers are coming today to yeah, box up everything and move. Why do you have to move again? They got it own. It's like a little L-shaped strip mall uh, in a business park, mm -hmm. and the guy that owned it is from some foreigner of uh, Pakistan or whatever. He ended up selling the whole building. Damn. So then. I mean, he's pissed. So Rock. Well, Rock's been wanting to move, and I think. Oh, well, there you go. I think this was the motivation to force him to move. <laughs> He, he doesn't like change, Yeah. And, but he had talked about moving, and now with this, he had a move. So he figured rather than look for another spot in yeah. Ottawa and drive 90 minutes away each a day each, each way, just set up in his backyard. Yep, that's crazy. Yeah, you're right. He's got a shed back there? He's got a, a two-story barn. I forget how old the barn is. Damn. And, uh he has the upstairs set up where he, with his uh, music equipment and uh, usually him and the, the bass player and the drummer, they'll come in and they'll go play upstairs. That's cool, there you go. And then yes, he has, has his shop downstairs. Yeah. And for the star parties, when he'd have star parties, he'd set up upstairs with a projector for giving people to give talks on different aspects of astronomy. Yeah, so. that's cool. I know for the eclipse back in May, I had to sit here and tweak the the colors to kind of push the reds out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I can vaguely remember now that you said that that red tint. I was like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see the in the simulation. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah. And it just says that as the sunlight goes through the Earth's atmosphere, it goes through all that dust and debris yeah. in the atmosphere, and it it changes the color. Like mm -hmm. the same, you know, the red sky at night when you see, you know. Pretty cool. Is that an owl I just heard? Atmosphere is not quite steady. You can see it twinkling. Mm -hmm. I see it, yeah. Try going a little bit longer, 20 milliseconds. See, the key is getting it exposed but not blowing out too much of the detail. I think it looks real good right there. Look at that. That's amazing how you get them shots like that. Like I said, I already got 79 exposures, so that's what almost 40. I've been doing this for 40 minutes? Yeah, I got a recording 35 minutes long. Damn, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, time flies. What yeah. am I? Mm, kid. One day it's Monday and the next day it's Friday, it seems like. Yep. It's crazy. I'm at 20 milliseconds now. Boy, it was soaking wet when I got oh, up yeah. in the boat. Oh, man. See that drill coming through there. Well, I was worried about opening this up because when, yeah. you, when you open the shutter, the bottom shutter goes underneath the top one and it kind of squeegees the water off the top. Oh, yeah. It'll drip. I'll be damned. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've already seen a roll. Well, now we can fix that. You can't. You can't. Yeah. I just wondering if there's a way we could do it. Yeah. Put a sponge or something. I don't know. Yeah, but then how do you get that the real yeah, no, sponge? I'm just, asking. I'm just trying to figure it out. It's just, it's just yeah. I just have learned that I'll open the shutter where I want to get it and, and then uncover the telescope. Oh, yeah. This, That's smart. Yeah. Take a minute. Tonight, um, around 6 o'clock, 6.30, we're going to, uh, a buddy of mine, I don't know, Tan, told this guy yet. Yeah, she was going to tell him in the morning, this morning. He lives right there by uh, the mayor's house, right next door, James Garner. Been yeah. knowing him for 40 years. 
Oh, he's my age, and he said he's gonna have a, he's gonna cook a bunch of stuff, and I can't remember what he said. He usually does a damn good job cooking and all. He's gonna wanna ride by uh, for an hour or two, or whenever he's Yeah, 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 yeah have, 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 have us in the address. Y'all yeah. feel like it, you know? Yeah. Have a few people, it's gonna be pretty cool. I he's got a, under his house, it's, you know, it's a raised house, and underneath it's, we can just stay out the weather, and all it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's real nice, you know? How's Steele doing? He's doing good. He uh, we went up there last night, yesterday, because he need we need to talk to her, you know. So he rode up there last night, and uh, they, they, she texted Taryn back after he left. He was only up there for about an hour, and he text, she texted Taryn back and said, "As far as I know, we're still dating, but still just wants to take his time." You know, and, and, and see how this is going to go. And Terry said, Well, we got to expect that. You know, hell, he moved everything he had from up there. Yeah. You know, you told him he wasn't feeling it. And she said, Well, I don't know if I used them terms. And Terry said, Yeah, still won't talk shit. You know, <laughs> still, t you know, because still, you know, there's yeah. been a few times where she'll be sitting at the bar and she'll say something like, You know, when I was coming here, you know, I had a car almost, you know, not overly, but every now and I, I might tell you, You sure you're not stretching that just a little bit? I'll tell yeah. me what happened. I said, because we don't like all that. Yeah. We like, you know, we like to clown and play every now and then with our sense of humor, but we want facts when it comes to facts. And I said, so Taryn put her in her place and said, no, nah, you, you know, that's what's still going on until dad and I, and that's, you know, Jack and I, that's, you know, still <laughs> act still. And she said, oh, he said, hell yeah, dad. He said, when she said she wasn't feeling it, and I'm not, well, you know, that's pretty much I'm not welcome there. Yeah. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, you did the exact thing I'm so proud of you yeah, for doing that. Yeah. You may end up, you know. You really did. Morning, David. What's the weather like up north? <laughs> it's supposed to be, it was what, 88 in here yesterday in the observatory when I opened it up to look at the sun yesterday? 88. 88 degrees. Of course, it's warmer in here than it is outside. Yeah, but still. That thermometer had 88 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like, That's crazy. this is November 7th, and it's 88 degrees. It's ridiculous. Up north, there was a six foot of snow. Hi, right, Greg. A few more people joined in. Can he hear you talking? Yes. Oh, good. Hey, not nobody says nothing back. They, they can't talk back. Oh, okay. But they can, they can chat. Come. I got you. Minus 30 Fahrenheit this morning. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that>? Canada. <laughs> That's brutal up there, man. That's a different cold up there. Ooh. Yeah. Because one, of the, one of the members of the group lives out in the western Canada in the mountains. <laughs> he said, <laughs> forget it. I don't know how they tolerate that stuff. I really don't. It, it, I guess it's all of what you're used to. I mean, we are, we are, I've grown up in this whole area of my life, so yeah. I'm, I'm used to the summers. Yeah, but I mean, deep down, you know, it's all the snowbirds start migrating here when it starts getting time to retire. Well, they're a lot yeah. of them. But snowbirds, they're older. Snowbirds, yeah. So they can't take the cold up north anymore. Yeah, yeah. They can so they come the heat right. and kicks their asses. <laughs> you know, they can't win for losing. I had a gentleman and his wife had uh, Dana and Doris. They had a place down in Florida they would come down there in the winter time and then they would drive back to, yeah. to Canada you know some people do that. Yeah, he was yeah. in uh, Windsor Ontario he'd go back in the summer up in Canada and winter in, in Florida yep all well, snowbirds oh yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's what I dealt with that's what I'm doing you haven't seen the snowbirds I deal with <laughs> mm -hmm. well you know if you can do it God you know yep. let me see if I can go to 25 milliseconds Maybe a little bit more. Let me try maybe 30. Yeah, it's 30 milliseconds now. When it gets totally in the in the shadow, then I'll start bumping the exposure up higher to try to bring up some yeah. of the colors. You gotta go along. Yeah. Look at this garden for a second. You can almost <laughs> roll the chair over. We can see a little. 
Huh? Yeah, that uh, that rain really helped uh, your garden yesterday, the other day. Yeah, my my neighbor lives across the street. He's the chief of police in town, and he also has a garden back here. He had planted some broccoli and uh, Brussels sprouts, and with the rain the other day, they're really perked up. It had been so dry here. Try bumping an exposure up. I wonder if 40 will be too much. Yeah, let me go back down to 35. Oh, <laughs> 22F is still cold. <laughs> Right now, according to the little icon on my tray in the bottom, it's 69 Fahrenheit here. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here in shorts with a short sleeve shirt on and flip flops. My neighbor's over here. He's got his, uh, I guess it's be like those casual pajama style pants and shirt. <laughs> he just got on his electric bike and drove over from across the street. <laughs> we we're just talking about how can people stand that cold weather. Rock's going to be able to watch this today. He's taking everything down at his shop. I think he took all his computers out. David, you like, you saying you like the cold? I didn't mind, of course, cold is a relative term. Here in Louisiana, it rarely got below freezing. Uh, I think the coldest it's ever been here was a, maybe about uh, 16, 18 Fahrenheit, but it doesn't last long. But when I, was, you know, when, when I was younger, I could take the cold a whole lot better. Now that I'm, uh, I'll be 74 next week, I just can't tolerate cold. It's an age factor. So now we're at 40 milliseconds. Probably because of the short exposure, Greg, as soon as the moon gets totally into the umbra, I'm going to start messing with the exposure. Uh, I'm grabbing an image every... Thirty seconds. No. I should have written down with the numbers I had for white balance. That looks better. Okay. Yeah, 
I think the, the color factor is related to the... <laughs> There's no frozen mist here. <laughs> Looking out the observatory door, I, I really don't see the reddish part yet. It, it's... Uh, The moon is about three quarters in the umber now. As soon as it grabs the next image, I'm at 103. When it goes to 104, I'll... 104, so let me try longer exposure. Now it just went to 60 milliseconds. Yeah, we're... From here, I... We can't see the whole eclipse. As the... Uh, the moon sets while it's still under eclipse uh, you have to go further west in the states by texas new mexico to see the whole event and the only thing you see now is the sea of crises Right now I have it it's set for sixty milliseconds. Let's see, one oh eight. Let's see what happens if I go see if, have, if I blow out the uh I'm gonna go back to sixty. How about eighty? That's 80 milliseconds. I'm using the DS26 CTEC. Greg, you'll be able to see the whole eclipse from there if it was clear. So right now I'm at what exposure? I'm at 80 milliseconds. Greg, I just got some... Uh, boxes from Home Depot that I can modify to ship those big monitors in. There's the camera right there. Scope and camera information.
you can s almost see the whole disc now with the 80 millisecond exposure. Let me see what, after the next capture, I'm going to I should have been capturing every 15 seconds. This will be a real short time lapse. Ninety milliseconds. Hundred milliseconds. Hundred and ten. Hundred and twenty. It's a hundred and forty milliseconds. and 40 milliseconds. You can barely see <laughs> Well, it's a high's the moon right now. 26 degrees 42 minutes. When it gets down to about 16 degrees, I think it'll be in the pine trees. So, and it's a little bit north of due west, 273 degrees azimuth. Let me take a quick look outside. Mars is really red. Let's try another longer exposure. One sixty milliseconds, two hundred milliseconds. almost totally into the umbra. Let's see if I can drag sky tools and bring it over. There's the sky tools chart. Is the umbra line right through here. So you're almost totally in the umbra. Let's see. 
Okay. See that red? <laughs> yeah. You can. Yeah. Yeah. That's no lit. Look at that. It's almost it's really, totally yeah. in the umber now. Yeah, I call it just but you can time. see just the faintly the outer edge. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It really is. It's mm -hmm. interesting stuff here. I love this kind of stuff. I'm just not too knowledgeable at it. I'm learning. Let me go to 300 milliseconds. That's a third of a second exposure. I'm blessed to have a setup like this. I love the neighbors. Oh, yeah. It's 400 milliseconds. So it's, you can actually see some of the craters, some of the details in, on the shadow. That's amazing, isn't it? Yep. I mean, it, it really is. It's astounding to know that that's out there like the Because I'm telling you, I seen a UFO one time. Some people don't believe it, but I did. Well, I don't. There's a lot of stuff up there in the sky. We don't know what it is. Can't explain it. Nope. They, they it's almost, it. almost totally. You can look at it right over here. It's See the, the, oh, yeah, the, the red line yeah. right here. See, it's almost totally in the in the shadow mm -hmm. now. Okay. So when it gets totally in the shadow, then I can start pushing the exposure a little bit. You can look with a naked eye and see the red tent now. Oh, you can, yeah. You can look out the door, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the moon, moon right now is mm -hmm. 20, a little bit over... Almost 26 degrees up, but it's going down. When it gets to about 16 degrees, that's when it'll be hitting the pine trees over there. Yeah. Paul's never gotten interested in this, has he? Nope. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But he's got a lot of knowledge about everything else. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> I've seen him riding all over town. I'll catch him on his back roads. I'll catch him all over the place. Yes, something else. I just went at 600 milliseconds. Let's go to 800. 800 milliseconds. So that's eight tenths of a second. Eight tenths of a second. Hmm. Yeah, a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. Yeah. So now we're at eight tenths of a second. And you can see you can see the features. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, especially that dark one to the right right here. That's that one really stands that, out. That's that looking right in here. That's yeah. called the Sea of Crises. Mm -hmm. Sea of Crises. Mm -hmm. And then right below it is Mary Fundicatus, the the Sea of Decay. <laughs> and then the uh, Tranquility, where the first uh, Apollo astronauts landed, right about there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost all the way in. Yeah, we're close. Figured I'd go to go to sleep and. Went to bed by 8.30. It was about 10.30 for me, maybe. Yeah. You can see it's barely creeping into the... Mm -hmm. It's just slowly disappearing. Yeah. Look at that. That is amazing. God. You ain't got much left, I don't know. No. Completely <laughs> left out. Look at that. I mean, just a faint, faint, faint little white... One second there. exposure yeah. now. Okay. Look at that, that's beautiful. Damn, that is amazing. So let me just... All in milliseconds. And there's the whole view right there. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's not tracking exactly right, but uh, let's see if I can tweak some of the color out, maybe. That's good to me. Was 
at 52 with the let me try going a little bit longer exposure it's a second and a half exposure two second exposure Starting to be in more detail, it seems like. Yeah. Then I can see what they're making out of you know. I just went to a three second exposure there. Mm -hmm. See, the red should be on the. this half over here. This would be the southern half, wouldn't it? West, west, western. The western half? Good morning, uh, is it A.K. Rupa? So now we're in totality. And the moon is moving a little bit deeper into the shadow. I well, can really see it here. See that red? Oh, oh yeah, when you look, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't remember that last time. It's crazy. You can see it's now it's God, totally it's in the right. shadow, but it it'll that. eventually move all the way across with the shadow, but it'll be below the horizon when it mm -hmm. gets over here. We'll we'll be able to watch it till it's about right about here. Mm -hmm. So it'll get a little bit redder. Twenties. We should be able to watch it for about another. Oh, I don't know. Thirty, forty minutes before it gets into the pine trees. We <laughs> laid out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advantage of having the observatory. I just click the button, oh, shut the cool. shutter, and go in the house. That's cool. Yeah, it's, cool. Everything's always set up, ready to go. Pretty awesome. So I won't be able to go any sleep. Hey, Jamie. Are you at the end of Lake Road or are you driving into New Orleans? <laughs> That's the guy that wanted to know if I was going to yeah. meet him out on Lake Avenue, yeah. Lake Road this morning. I mean, you see that Leonard's on too, huh? See, this is this is a three-second exposure. Let me—I uh, I didn't update that. I'm at the. Uh, let me just put three second. I don't need it that big. Three seconds. With minimum gain. Just finished my first cup of coffee. Now I'll put my iced coffee in. <laughs> I can't drink that iced coffee. I tried. Oh my God. Oh, I love iced coffee. Do you? Oh, yeah. I used to stop at the McDonald's over there on the 41, whatever it is, yeah. on the way to work, and I wanted to get a big iced coffee and then drink it driving into work. I just can't. Uh, I tried it one time, but I just couldn't get adapted. I'm like, yeah. it was tough. <laughs> Don't drink too much. Let's see what four seconds does. So 
And now I'm at four seconds. the histogram. The white, all my color adjustments are set to default. If I look out the observatory door, It's a dull, yep. You can still see that the bottom right is still a little brighter than the rest. Oh, yeah. Because it's sure. not, not as deep into the yeah. uh, umbra. Right yep. Three and a half degrees. Make sure the scope is still centered in the dome opening. I was having problems with the shutter system, it ended up being bad relays in the uh, control yeah. box. Ended up changing both relays, and now it works well. Yeah, that's cool. Over time, every time it makes a, it closes the relay and makes a contact, it's like an arc, you know, the spark. Yeah. And it builds up a corrosion. There you go. And it doesn't make contact. Yeah. And those those little relays, you can't get them apart to, like clean the them. points in your car. Yeah. You sit there and file them and clean them. Yeah. Well, these, you couldn't get to. I got to file some one at Volkswagen, not just said that. I'm yeah. I did one handle fire the other day, so the moisture yeah. gets in there. Yep. Take for a second. What are those? The bug? The, the buses? The blue one, the blue bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I went to crank it the other day and I didn't want to fire. So I was firing the points. It won't take about a minute and I'll follow them down. There's something wrong with those two Honda generators I have. I, I, you they'll, can't they'll, get them right they'll again? They'll start and they'll run, but I can't totally disengage the uh, choke. I got to go like halfway, then it runs. And you put that on? Uh, yeah, I put gas treatment in. I put the new, the new air filter, new uh a gas filter, new spark plug, maybe a must be a carburetor adjustment. No man, those things ain't much to them. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I know. They got them pretty simple. If I sit, I, it'll away. start right up, and then if I go and try to pull the throttle, I mean pull it so the choke is fully off, mm -hmm. it, it'll it'll kill. Damn. We'll figure something out. I gotta look at them after this election. Oh, it's <laughs> it's a you know, control of the. The humidifier is blowing air out, and it's. I was wondering what that was, yeah. Put it out, out of the breeze. Yeah, yeah. I thought you told me you had them straightened out a while back, so I didn't really. Yeah. Thought you told me well, they're they running, them but off. they're, they're yeah. not. Yeah. You can't run them on choke that much, you end up no. pushing that cylinder out. We'll look at it and see what we can do. Yeah. I need to change the oil in that golf cart of mine bad. I'll change yours. I gotta change yeah, yeah, I gotta change our oil and we'll kill two birds with one stone. I didn't change the oil when I did it. I have to change the oil in those Hondas too. Yeah. yeah. I mean I could fake a white balance. Let's see, let's see, wait till I Okay. Well, make sure the mosquitoes don't attack you. 
<laughs> Jamie's going up the lake road. Okay. My brother says, hey, bumpy road. I said, yeah, let's asphalt to a certain spot, and then you get to the, the shell out to the end. Mm -hmm. But that's a perfect place to watch it because oh, yeah. you, you can see the moon yeah. set on the lake. That's you'll, right. You'll probably have the causeway in the, you know, but you'll be, you'll be able to see it, watch it all the way down. Oh, yeah. That is a good spot. I ain't been out there in a while. 42.44. I don't like that. That, that was the white balance. Yeah, you can really see some detail in the map. No. Ooh. You make it any color you want. But yeah, well, you can see oh, all yeah, the detail. You can really see some detail in it there, you know? Yeah, great. Yeah, create a Tycho down here. Create a Copernicus. Where's Copernicus? Right here. go with a little bit higher gain. Let's go. Double the gain and let me shorten the Look exposure. So I double the gain. I'm at gain two and two second exposure now. Two seconds. So every two seconds the camera is taking an image. Mm -hmm. It's not. Perfect picture to me. I mean, you don't have nothing, you know, it's yeah. not too hazy, it ain't too foggy or nothing, in my opinion. Glad you could be on. Let's see, right now I'm at 22 degrees. I got about another six degrees or so, I think. How much? It's hard to see where that tree line is. <laughs> This pine trees will get that 15 it. degrees or something, brother? But yeah, I get to about 15 degrees. That's Maybe when the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm at 22, so about not 7 degrees. That's another 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's what I figured about 5 o'clock or so is when I'd lose the moon in the trees. Yeah. See, the moon is drifting up in the image. It's not tracking it exactly right. I don't know why. Supposed to be doing? It should have kept it right in the center. Hmm. Hopefully, we can get more people broadcasting. Uh, I was doing a little solar yesterday morning, and I tried some solar this after yesterday afternoon, but uh, I waited too late sun was uh, only 15 degrees up setting in the trees
Okay. Should get a little bit darker, but not a whole yeah, whole lot darker. Yeah. I mean, no doubt. So I've captured 163 images so far. 163. Yeah. I guess I'm ahead all out. Okay. We'll have Terrence send us the address oh, yeah. for later. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking of the last time you had that thing over where the mm -hmm. fitness, yeah. physical therapy place is. Yeah, yeah, this one's just right across the bridge, and you just take that right and follow the road all the way around. Okay. It's 412 is the address, but I'll send it to you. Okay. Old Highway 11. Okay. I right, thank you. See you later. Oh yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank, 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 neighbor rode over on his e-bike Increasing the exposure. I mean, the gain a little bit. Let's see. And it goes to 168 capture. Here he goes, tooling off. Gain four and one and a quarter second. Yeah, we got lucky. We had a clear, clear morning. See, I'm at 21 degrees altitude. fog to the south by the library. Hi right, David. I can see the tree line. We might only have about another 20 minutes.
take a white balance on the moon. No? I don't like that. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out why the mount is not tracking properly. The moon should have stayed centered because I am in lunar rate. Two seconds is a one and three quarter seconds. Let's see, yeah. Okay. Let's let me change the exposure.
Jumping outside for a second. It says the current temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit and clear. Okay, we're almost 19 degrees altitude now. Well, look at it. It's just a very slim lower right portion that's a little bright. The rest is a reddish orange when I look up at the sky See Jamie's name still on the list. I wonder. I thought he was going to go out to Lake Road and go look at it. Maybe he forgot to sign out. Uh, let me wait till picture 192 is captured and then I'll try changing the game a little bit higher. One ninety two, let's go to game five. the gain a little bit. Maybe I'll go with 1.6 second exposure. Okay. 
I guess I should have tried using that SkyTrack program. There's a program where you could put in the coordinates for the moon and it would track it more precisely. Thanks, David. See, we're 18 and a half degrees up. And a little bit north of due west. We'll go look and see where the tree line is. I think it'll hit the trees before it hits the top of my golf cart. <laughs> I've got a recording going. I got an hour and 34 minutes so far. I'll post this to YouTube for those that didn't get a chance to see it. at the uh, sky tools chart and if you can see the red the inner red line which is the umbral shadowing kind of surgery in your hand? Carpal tunnel or something else? Yeah, I've had that <laughs> One of my many procedures. to the doctor and they say oh have you had any surgeries and I just pull out the sheet of paper I said look at them they're all listed too many to try to remember So uh, God, the mosquito just flew by. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get an epidural in my left hip next Monday. I'm trying to put off having to have hip replacement, but uh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, Leonard, uh, Dr. Fingers' uh, associate told me a year ago that uh, both of my hips and both of my knees are candidates for replacement. So I've been putting it off, but I really hurt my hip at the Grand Canyon 
this past June and I heard it again on the trip coming back from Virginia. Yeah. I've been getting a, an annual cortisone shot in my left knee. And now I'm starting to get pains in my right knee. <laughs> Leonard, the uh, orthopedist I had in Slidell, he retired, uh, Gozi. And uh, I went to Finger, but Finger was often his uh, partner, Dr. Honeycutt, was the one that did x-rays and gave me a cortisone shot in the left knee. But I'm going to a two-lane doctor in, uh, in Metairie to get the cortisone shot in the hip. He's the one that did uh, Sky's good knee replacement. Never gotten a cortisone shot in an elbow. Gotten them in the knees before, that's not too bad. I've gotten them in my, I think it was my thumb once. That, that was a son of a gun, that really hurt. <laughs> yeah. Only while they're pumping the cortisone in. After that, it goes away and it's, it's not bad. Let me see what a two second exposure looks like. Let's get to 2010. There's two seconds. Finger had worked on uh, Sky's mom when she shattered her uh, wrist, I think it was, when she fell in the little house up front. So, what's my altitude now? 16 and uh, 3 quarter degrees up. Man, I had a bunch of surgery with Gozi. He did uh, both knees, medial meniscus repairs. He did my first two shoulder surgeries. But like everyone, he got older and he finally retired. keep this going until you see trees uh, start covering the moon.
Okay, that about three to five degrees before it starts hitting the trees. voted last Tuesday. And the gentleman that was here a little while ago, he's, re he's running for re-election as chief of police in our little town. Yep. Two hundred and eighteen images. Well, I don't think you can any, you can do anything at all about street lights. I dealt with the aldermen and women in town, and the, the former mayors in town, and. They, they just don't understand or comprehend light pollution. When talking to my neighbor, I said, you know, what would you rather have your officers respond to? You come to come into a house that's having a burglary and they have the house lit up with spotlights and you can't see the house because of the glare. Would it be better for your officers to approach the house and not see what's going on or to have them not have spotlights. He, he agreed, no spot, no lights outside. It would be a lot better for them. But people just get that false sense of security by having lights. My former neighbor behind me, he says his wife wanted the light on in the backyard all the time. She felt more secure. I said, Jason, how do you know if somebody's in your backyard if the light's always on? Put it on a motion sensor. If somebody walks in your backyard, the light goes on, then you know somebody's there. If it's always on, all, the only thing it helps is the guy that wants to steal what's in your backyard. the new neighbor they don't they tend to leave the lights off in the backyard <sighs> morning Russell getting Getting close to having to end the show because the uh, moon is approaching the pine trees. We're only let me log on to my phone and see if I'm still broadcasting. Should be.
<laughs> it's a no win, Leonard. Trying to log into my phone to see if I can see the broadcast. Leonard, do you see me live? Can you hear me live? wanted to make sure somebody said that they lost the broadcast. I just refreshed my browser. folks I think I see a pine tree. Yep. <laughs> I figured it was around 15 degree horizon. <laughs> We're 14 degrees 36 minutes. <laughs> and that's not a cloud. the show is quickly drawing to a close. <laughs> I wonder wonder why I lost the broadcast. Logging in to see if I can see my broadcast.
Yep. I don't think it's going to come out below the trees. I think it's going to be gone for the duration now. Let me take a quick look outside. Well, folks, the party's over. Yeah, it'll only be getting deeper and deeper into the pine trees. Glad y'all could uh, join in. And for those in the, the states, go out today and vote. Y'all have a good day. Signing off for now. It's called a chainsaw, Leonard. <laughs> as fast as I cut him down, my brother lets him grow back up on his half of the property. <laughs> oh, well. Have a good day. Bye for now. capturing images for a little bit longer. I stopped the broadcast. We're just about at mid-eclipse right now. Maximum uh, darkness. I'll bring sky tools over. So the moon is about as deep into the umbra as it's going to get. And it's going to start moving out. Almost looks like clouds. But it's not clouds, it's pine tree. It'll be interesting to see how low I can go. Brother's not watching. I'm gonna go cut down a few pine trees.
we're getting into the heavier pine trees now. We're 13 degrees up in the south, in the west, northwest, azimuth 281. I think it's time to call it quit. Stopped capturing. Let me turn the cooler off. All right. Stop the recording.